Hi there. Just thought I'd give anyone who's interested a quick walk through the uh, the screen that you use when you're using Perf Pro Studio. Uh, in my case, with a CompuTrainer. Uh, this is, as you can see, set up for use by um, uh, two riders: myself on the left and Lorena on the right. And we'll start off with the little um, timer section in the uh, in the middle at the top. So we're just going to. Uh, look into this here. The, the white numbers there, that's the total elapsed time since the workout actually started with the time of day uh, above it. Um, in the centre there, uh, we've got the name of the current segment that's being written, the percentage of FTP that it's being written at and the uh, planned um, cadence for that segment. Below that in yellow, obviously we've got the version of Perf Pro that this is and uh, in this case five minutes which is the time that's remaining uh, for the segment that's currently being ridden. So if we go down to the bottom left these are the, the, the segments here. This is the first segment to warm up at 50% then the second segment you see how they light up. So that's um, the um, period of time that's being referred to by the yellow numbers in the stopwatch above. This uh, particular ride is a, a ramp test. There's several periods at 125% here as part of the warm-up. Three blocks there and then on to this section starts at 100 watts and then it goes up in um, every 12 seconds it goes up by by five watts until you can't ride anymore. So that's the general um, overview of of that section. If we go up into the top left hand corner here we have the uh, what's sort of right in the top left hand corner we have the uh, rider station number that's station number one in this case and then we have the the, the rider's name and the following over that we've got the the rider's uh, current um, FTP. You don't actually have to have that uh, displayed if you if you don't want to. If you double click on the riders FTP that will open up this dialog which allows you to change the FTP values if you've done some testing and changed heart power zones, heart rate zones and options for the rider and having um, the files and graphs and ride data emailed automatically to the rider after the session uh, should you wish to do so. Um, so there's various, uh, various options in there so we'll just uh, cancel out of that. Um, up here we have the what's called the RRC which is related to CompuTrainer use and that's the rolling resistance calibration um, which is a procedure that you have to go through with a CompuTrainer in order to ensure that your power data is accurate and that uh, works very well. Over on here we now have the uh, section called uh, load currently at 144 because uh, this workout hasn't actually started yet. So that's um, the resistance essentially that the CompuTrainer is going to force the rider to ride against. And the rider will have to generate um, 144 watts in order to keep going. So the CompuTrainer and Perf Pro Studio working together ensure that the, the rider watts track the, uh, the load that's being set for the workout. Um, heart rate is straightforward. Um, this section here, uh, SMO2, SMO2, that's related to the use of a, um, a Moxie muscle oxygen saturation monitor, which is an ant device, which me measures the saturation of oxygen um, in the working muscles and um, provides valuable data. Uh, by so doing. So that's a very useful feature. It gives you a, a live readout um, of your muscle oxygen saturation. So that's excellent. Here W prime, um, as long as you've set up your critical power within Perf Pro Studio, uh, W prime will give you as a percentage the what the percentage of your anaerobic work capacity that you have remaining. So you can see how your um, anaerobic fuel tank is going down, how many matches you've burnt if you like during your workout. So that's uh, useful and uh, educational information to have available. 
uh, normalised power. People who use power meters and things will be familiar with. The, there are definitions available for that quite widely. So that's uh, illust that's um, displayed live uh, during the workout. Also, the current uh, training stress score that's been generated by the the workout is shown here. So if you want to ride up to a certain training stress score of say 75 or 80 or whatever, you can just keep going until you've reached reach that and then can stop as required. Moving along, the, the system shows you your uh, the, the current power training zone that you're riding in and the current heart rate zone that you're riding in. Total haemoglobin is also information that comes off the MOXIE monitor. Um, more valuable sort of physiological data there while you're training and the um, total or an estimate of the total calories that the workout has uh, burned so far for the weight conscious amongst us. Uh, and next is the uh, intensity factor which again similar to uh, normalised power users of power meters will be uh, very familiar with, with that term. Coming down to the graph, in this area here, when you're riding along, you get a, a live graphical representation of whatever data points you choose to have displayed. If you go into this section here, um, which is called uh, Show, um, you can have the software uh, display all various different parameters and by ticking them, uh, along here, you just take on or off the the ones that you uh, want to want to show. Uh, this display here, which is uh, called range, um, that uh, displays the at the moment we're displaying uh, ten minutes here uh, in, in within this graph. Um, but by selecting range here, you can choose to show either 10 minutes, let's say change it to 45 minutes. So now that will show you 45 minutes of the workout and that's uh, down to down, just down to personal preference. Um, snapshot, that will, um, clicking that during a workout will take a, a snapshot of the, of the graph uh, uh, well, to show whatever is currently being displayed at that point in the workout. It's all straightforward and that, that box there simply tells you whether you want a graph um, displayed or not. But most people will because it's, uh, it's, it's uh, keeps, keeps you occupied watching that whilst you, whilst you ride along. So that's a general overview of what you can see on the screen. Within here you've got all sorts of options. I, can't, I won't go into, um, into all of them but uh, as you can see the option any number of options, manual rides, locking timers, just to keep screens as you want, uh, different race modes, um, timer sizes, very, very, very um, capable of being configured pretty much exactly as you wish. So there's all sorts of, all sorts of options in there. And that's going back to the um, section of the Perf Pro Studio package where you select the individual workouts that you want from, from this list. This is the one we were looking at, so I'm going to keep that one on the screen. Um, open video, movie, uh, playlists or Netflix allows you to choose something to watch whilst you're, whilst you're going along. Different movie modes, things that you want to show, and options for uh, adding new adding new riders, uh, managing the um, ant stick that you're using, device settings, you'll find all those all those options in there. So it's um, specific FTP testing options. There's a built-in FTP test you can use, which you can um, configure that uh, how you want. This is set to do a 20-minute a test. So um, you can you can as you can see on the screen there, there's a lot of different uh, different options um, that can be selected there. And then in, in this cog here, general settings for the Perf, for Perf Pro Studio, uh, that's the FTP testing uh, ranges. You can have the various, uh, these bars will show the percentage of power that you're working at and on the right 
um, here. This one will show the cadence that you're working at. You can configure the, those bars to display in whatever colour you want really. Different uh, warm up and cool down options. You can pre-program those to do by your workouts. And um, well, a tremendous, uh, tremendous number of options. Almost, almost endless. Right back there to setting up your Compu Trainer. So that was just to give a, a very, very quick um, overview and to illustrate the um, enormous flexibility and capabilities of this package. You say you can run it as a, as a single rider, or um, two riders, three riders, and then if you buy a more expensive package above and beyond that uh, to uh, multi-rider studios of almost in unlimited numbers. So I hope that's been of some interest to anyone that's uh, not had the opportunity. You can download, uh, I think it's a 14-day free trial, which is fully functional, does absolutely everything. So I would certainly highly recommend that. And for I think for any CompuTrainer users, this is a really fantastic option. Um, I use uh, Perpro Studio for virtually um, all my um, highly structured training and uh, and other sessions. I use make extensive use of um, Erg Video. Um, the the two packet they're the two packages I use with my my Compu Trainers. Um, can't recommend them all uh, highly enough. Absolutely brilliant. So there you go. Thanks very much indeed for listening.